for this tutorial I am using 300 GSM cold pressed watercolor paper. First I have lightened up my sketch outlines using an eraser. Once you have wet the surface of the paper, it is time to paint the sky. Now I am going with blue and I am spreading this throughout the sky and I am not adding this color everywhere. I am leaving some areas white so that this gives the look of fluffy clouds. And when I'm painting blue in the sky, I'm just doing tapping motion because the paper is wet. The color will bleed out and bleed into the white areas to give really nice soft look. The materials that I'm using for this tutorial will all be listed in the description. But don't worry if you don't have the exact materials that I'm using or exact colors. It really doesn't matter, just use what you have. Now if you want to lift up any highlights, you can do this with a clean damp brush. Like I'm moving here. And I'm using this technique to smooth out the clouds. Make sure you are using clean damp brush for this technique. that we finished that area it's time to move on to painting in the sand and I'm using burnt sienna I'm just taking my brush and I'm adding a nice wash of this wherever I can see sand in the reference photo
I started off nice and light and then I'm going to go in with a bit more brown and tap in few shadows. Now I'm blending them using clear water until I get a nice texture and nice contrast. Now it's time to move on to the grassy area and I mixed Persian blue and burnt umber to get this dark color and I'm painting little lines for grass and I'm using a really small round brush for this so I can get these tiny details. 